for the um, Collins Division, the International Lexicon, and uh, we're going to be bringing you Dave Wiegand, a two-time national mm. champion uh, in the U.S. against Brad Whitmarsh, uh, one of the top East Coast players. And uh, Dave is currently one game up. One game up at a huge spread. And uh, he's so he's looking pretty good to uh, take this down if he can possibly just win one game today, but maybe two for sure would do it. So uh, we're he's excited. He's at 940 points in, in, in spread, yeah. so he'd have to lose two games by 400. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's... Uh, 225 each. So. Yeah, he's looking good. He's looking like he had a few beers last night, but, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's what you do. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. He <laughs> definitely does not look like he slept all that much. <laughs> well, it could be like you, not from drinking, but from anxiety yeah. and adrenaline and all that. Yeah, though from what I know, my experiences with Dave... Uh, <laughs> 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 well, all I know is if I were Bradley, I'd be the one who'd be quaking in my boots because That's, yeah. David is a giant. Yeah, there's no question. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna get down, get down to oh, it. Oh, and he's, he's got a repines right yeah. away, and God knows what else in Collins will have a. We'll have a uh, look. yeah. <laughs> Maybe nothing else. I'm always shocked that there's nothing <laughs> else. I'm always thinking, oh yeah, it's Collins. So there's yeah. gonna be 62 bingos in that rack, but yeah. not, not always. Welcome, uh, Eric, in Thailand, huh? How's oh, that Erickson, going? of course. Stupid me. Sorry. <laughs> I knew that. So he's going to play Repines, I think. I don't know. Uh, Brad's up first. Oh, he's up. Brad's yeah. up first. Okay. That, that actually takes uh, a bit of a pressure off Dave. Um, Erepson would not allow for him to hit the P on the double letter to get more points, but Repines would actually make it very easy to play, make parallel plays. It opens up an E to a double letter above it, and it sticks an S on the center star. So... Uh, a decision he didn't have to make. Yeah. Interesting to me that anti-mob is not a word. We know it's not a word, but, like, why you not? You think it should be? Why not? I uh, can define I it. Is anti-mafia anti -mafia good? I bet. I bet. <laughs> anti-mob is not good, and anti-mafia is yeah. not good. Uh, King, this game is uh, the uh, current first place versus fourth place in the CSW division. Uh, Dave is winning by a game and a lot of point spread. So he's in good shape to win the tournament here, but uh, we don't know that quite yet. Welcome to Thailand. Good morning or after, I guess good, good, I guess late afternoon. For you. 11 yeah. hours ahead. Yeah, maybe? 11 hours. Or yeah. Good, ma uh, good, uh, good 13, morning 13 hours ahead, 11, yeah. 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 I just want to know uh, why Eric is in Thailand right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that Eric? Yeah. <laughs> So one thing that uh, Brad did that's going to help him is that he didn't play a long word to allow David to hook it onto a double word score. So yeah. Dave will score yeah. uh, 10, 12 points <laughs> less than he would have. <laughs> right. But he will be able to nicely uh, slot it underneath, underneath there. Underneath it. Which is what, yeah, that's what he's going to do. But the board's going to be nice. It will be, you know, have the potential to be nice and open because the R will be on the far side. You'll have the S on the far. You don't think he's going to hook the P under the O? Yeah, but he'll be able to. Uh, uh, Brad will be able to open the left side of the board yeah, underneath, absolutely. and then yeah, have a, a nice shot at the triple there. there so it could be. Oh, and he's just opened up. Okay, yeah, there we so go. So it could be worse for yep. Brad, all things considered. Nice S open there. Yeah. So very easy to slot underneath the R and the M E and yeah. repines. So I think in a sec here, you're going to see Dave play repines underneath mob. Now we haven't forgotten about the TWL division, uh, even though. Um, uh, Will uh, won with three games to go, which tells you the dominance he displayed in this tournament. Will the thrill. Will the thrill. <laughs> I don't think he's ever been called that. Certainly not in his own mind, even. <laughs> um, uh, we will. We do have hotly contested second, third, and fourth place uh, championship games going on, and we will. No, uh, we might even show you one. We'll see how it goes in terms of if Dave clinches, and if not, we will uh, certainly keep you up to date. And I see Mac Meller is playing Ian Weinstein, and Mac has Uabane on his opening rack yeah. to start with a blank. And keep in mind, Mac and Ian. Uh, Mac got third last year, and Ian got second last year, so it's fitting that oh, uh, wow. they're facing each other. And Ian has a mitful with E G H K L M V, yeah. so not the way that Ian wanted to start the game, and certainly uh, no. Mac is kind of thrilled with how he started. Either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jackson, to answer your question, um, would I play it to the left for two fewer points? Um, I feel like regardless of which side you're playing on. Um, you know, someone's going to play to the triple, and the board's going to be in pretty much the same position, just on the left side or the right side. So I'm instinctively inclined to take the points here. Because um, you're still slotting an E either way. You know, it's it's surprisingly, like, almost the same position. And for two points versus 
opening the S there, I think I would personally just take the points. Oh, I actually have a question for our crowd. Uh, something that my son sent to me yesterday is that we have actually have two monitors. And one monitor gives us in real time and one gives it in Twitch time. But he said that you actually should sh keep watching the studio monitor because the voiceover goes with the studio monitor, not with the Twitch. Yeah, Twitch delay, yeah. Yeah, so maybe we should actually be talking in time. So if you guys find that we're actually giving stuff away, let us know. Uh, if everything looks kosher and in time, you let us know that too. So we'll know which monitor to look at. Hi, Albany. Welcome. Good morning. Oh, the commentary is not the same as the vid. There you go. So we have to watch this bigger screen. How do you like that? That makes sense as yep. I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just didn't okay, think so about guys, it. Guys, <laughs> we are, we are uh, learning on the fly here. Um, Both our mics are muted. Is I think we true? just weren't no, talking. Wait, that's true. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stella. Yeah, we appreciate when, you saying that. When, uh, when we don't talk, our mics are probably muted. <laughs> we will try to talk more <laughs> just as soon as our brains work. Well, yeah, last your, night your in the biggie, work. We, um, <laughs> some of us indulged in um, some rich fish sauces. Some of us indulged in some rich beers. I had a you know a couple beers, but I had steak and a burger <laughs> and poutine. <laughs> <laughs> now it all makes sense. It all makes sense. You said had food coma. <laughs> it's not because you didn't sleep. It's because your much. arteries were clogged. Yeah, clogging. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> <We're gonna be> <laughs> Sorry to the players out who might be hearing me laugh. <laughs> Try to keep it down. They can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're starting to see a bit of a clogged board, which is to Dave's advantage as he has a slight lead. Yeah, Dave, of course, loves playing his uh, open boards, but... He's a lot like um, uh, Will in that regard because he yeah. has so many words. Yeah. Dave, Dave is the Will of uh, Will Anderson of Collins' words for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. And we all love Dave. Just like Will, there's like there's nobody who doesn't love Dave. There's nobody who doesn't love Will. They're just both like awesome. They're just great. They are awesome and uh, humble guys. And yeah. um, you'll see if, if Dave does win and I'm going to predict he's going to sit here and you're going to see his shoulders go up and down shrugging. Like, I don't know, I uh, I just got lucky and yeah. uh, you the, know the, the, shul the shoulder fell. shrug. <laughs> the classic Dave shoulder shrug. That's like that's like his thing. Uh Carmel, you cannot play Mewtwo. I'm trying to think uh, which which Pokemon are uh. good in Scrabble. I'm sure there's there's it's certainly a few that are just so like English words. I, but I go and look the word up to see if it's good. You know what it is. Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. Did they add Mewtwo to Pokemon Go this week? Or was that... Is that still to come? I know uh, the Pokemon Go Fest was in Chicago. We actually had a couple people not come to this event so that they could go to Pokemon Go Fest. And there are a number of uh, diehard fans here still. <laughs> I d I'm still trying to decide if that's the utmost in treason or, you know, we're going to give them a pass on that one because it's Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it's Kate. Kate Fukawa Connolly is well, we'll one, of the, yeah, one, of our, <laughs> one of our favorite people. So she gets, like, unlimited passes. Except she knows all the good places here in New Orleans, and her, she would have been a great resource. Yeah, but <laughs> since we've been here with her for the last so seven maybe. years, we all <laughs> now we know all the places. All yeah, the places, for all, you all the things. People thinking of maybe dipping your toes into the Scrabble tournament scene. Uh, that she runs an amazing tournament around January, which is such a great time to yeah, come to New Orleans. Yeah, I had the pleasure of directing it last year. Did you? Yeah, it was it was fun. Oh, fabulous! Um, and I've been all seven years, <laughs> or this will be 2012, 13, 14, 15, yeah. 16. This will be my seventh yeah. time. Again, uh, math very hard. It's almost as hard as spelling. Counting and spelling are two things that do not come naturally to me. <laughs> Um, so it's a good thing you're a yes, fabulous Scrabble. <laughs> yes, it's a good thing that I'm here. So, uh, meanwhile, on planet uh, Dave. Dave. So this is the trouble when you do these kind of tight boards. If you Mew takes an S, but it also takes an L, and he doesn't have that. Keys obviously takes an S in front of it. He doesn't have that. And Mew takes an S on top of it. He doesn't have that. Yeah. So, and he's got the J to get rid of. So And the W. And, and I don't think he's going to pass. Do you see the bingo on uh, Brad's rack? It's a pretty cool one. Uh, Gumdrop, beauty, and nowhere to play. Yeah, oh. great, great find by uh, Evil Budgie, former 
world champion. So yesterday when uh, he had Umbelul, uh to the east, the other bingo he had, because one of the tiles was a blank, was blue gum. Oh, and this okay. is only a natural set, not natural, but his only seven was blue yeah. gum. So yeah. now we're getting gum drops, so we're starting to see a theme. Yeah. So Dave is uh, finally going to go for a play here. And I. Uh, oh, and, and wow. So, uh, choosing to open the board perhaps dangerously. But um, he, I mean, he had no way not to. He had, no, he had nothing else to do. He has pretty much no way to open the board here. But that's a good philosophical question. Do you do that and give your opponent an opportunity to score 40 quick points while you're saving the J? Yeah, I suspect that uh, Dave would do that. That makes sense. If I had done that, I would have picked five. I would pick four consonants. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> he has a bit of a. That's okay. Funny. So guys, I, this is where we need your input because I think E now just came down for you. Yeah. Was there a disconnect in our commentary? Well, judging by Rich uh, saying E now right as he put down E now, I'm gonna say. Well, he's oh also no. here in the room with us. That's fair. <laughs> there wasn't for me. Yeah. Okay, it perfect. Was correct. So okay. we have to watch that. Okay. Water. Cool. Excellent. Now we're on track. So uh. N-Y-E-R, unfortunately, is not a word, so he wouldn't be able to play gumdrop. And Would have been a great spot for it. <laughs> but uh, Moop certainly scores a reasonable amount of points here. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess he's going to pick three consonants. just want to throw a shout-out to Carmel Dodd, superfan, the ultimate superfan of all superfans worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> for Carmel Dodd, exclusively. <laughs> but ultimately, it's what everybody should aspire to. Okay. Carmel had such a good start to the tournament. Still hanging They're around. Still though, hanging around. You know, the I think the best showing of all the all the Aussies. Was that right? I think so. What a long trip for them, man. Eh? Yeah. But you know what? Every time we go to them. <laughs> oh, I have I have yet to. <laughs> I would love to. One of these one of these days years times so things. So I'll tell you my Australia Scrabble story since we have a mm -hmm. while we're waiting. Um, I had an opportunity to go to the World Championships in, was it 2015? Um, or the, no, two, the, the one Mel before Melbourne. that. Oh, 2000. So 1999, I think. Yeah, that's right. It must right. have been yeah, 1999 99. because I was pregnant with my second son. Okay. And I was only like in the second month, but I just decided that it was just too long a journey to go while whilst pregnant. And I would have traveled with Joel Wapnick, who ended up winning the tournament. Yep. Um, he, we're both in Canada. We would have taken the same flight. And he told me that the flight there the turbulence was the worst in the history of the airline the flight crew was oh telling no. him. The man who was sitting next to him, which would have been me, um, grabbed his arm instinctively and held and dug his nails into him for like 20 minutes while the plane <laughs> lurched in the sky. Now, the hormonal cascade I would have treated my unborn child to probably would have changed his personality forever. <laughs> yeah. So that was my one chance to go <laughs> 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 Yeah. To Australia, yeah. but there'll be other ones. So Dave's playing a super scrabbly word in ephod. No idea how to pronounce it. I know the word. I think ephod sounds pretty good. Yeah. And that's it scores, it but he'd love to get rid of that J. But that's a nice setup for the J, because if he gets an A or an E, he can play Joe or Ja there for a quick 39. Yeah, and that's probably what uh, part of his thinking. He can play Ja <laughs> next turn. Yeah, and I. it seems like... a. Oh, thanks, Carmel. I would love to come to Seems you. like, uh, yeah, Bradley might not play there because he's got the Oma spot, maybe. He's got the Oma and Wog mm. and Wu, but that's not going to help him. Yeah. So many more two-letter words in Collins for all of you guys who were watching yesterday the TWL games. Um, it really allows for uh, so many more hooks, and that's why the s average score in a Collins game is often higher, is usually higher because there's so many more opportunities to score. And in fact, um, Jason Keller, who is a bi 
bi- what do we call that? Bilectual? Yes, bilectuality. Bilectuality. He plays both dictionaries. Came up to me two days ago and he put yeah. his head into the crook of my neck mm-hmm. and he goes, I can't play TWL anymore. I have so many bingos I can't put down. It's killing me. I think he should have thought about that before he played the tournament. I think you could have guessed that if that was a problem you were going to have, don't play. And you well, can't, you I think can't. sometimes you need to have it just like shown in your throne. Yeah, in your but face, he's had you know? it before. Like he's made this decision before. He's switched back and forth. It's like you had a bad tournament. And how is that like his life? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is, uh, I think Brad may have missed OMA. Um, I am. <laughs> certainly would have scored a lot. For the, for the more. life of me, the stream is totally right. I don't know why somebody is literally just standing next to Dave. It is extremely entertaining, and I have no idea why it's happening. <laughs> There's literally someone just standing there. It looks like his hands are Oh, it's what's it's uh it's oh, it's, he's it's, fixing it's, a it's it's uh, our guy. Yeah. He's fixing a camera. Right. Yeah, he's just fixing a camera. Well, otherwise, why would his arms be up? Right. He's <laughs> <deodorant or> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, in the travel culture, uh, might be a good lesson for yeah, some people. Yeah, sure, not necessarily <laughs> the worst thing ever. Um <laughs> I'm extremely entertained uh Dave just looking completely completely unaffected, which is classic Dave. He is crew though, yeah. And he's noticing him. You ask him later, go, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know that so, there's too much to think about, but let's uh, see. He, he might consider playing calf, waff, and oma here. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, you know, it's probably not quite worth he's it. He's held onto the J now for three turns. I think it's time to say he, bye-bye. And it's also possible that, you know, Bradley just didn't see oma because he played a good, which didn't really make any sense. But could he have gotten rid of two vowels? He had four on his rack. That's so many points to give up. It is a lot of points to give up. You're right. There's always um, a tension when you play a really, really top player like Dave who knows so many words. Do you open the board uh, in order to maximize your chances to score as well because you know as soon as Dave takes a good enough lead, he's going to start shutting the board down? Or do you... Um, do you um, Clo- close it down. Um, that's I know the first time I played Nigel, or the second time because I learned my lesson the first time. It's like stop opening the bloody board because huh. even though he's futzing around for four turns in a row, as soon as you open the board, you know he's going to pounce with uh, an eighty point. Oh, so it's it's interesting to me. I always actually tell people if you're playing someone better than you, keep the board as wide open as you can. There you go. Because it's because uh, sometimes I mean obviously when you lose you're going to lose by a lot. Right. But it's I think over time like the games when you do get the good tiles it's gonna help you win. Help you, you just have to accept that like yeah Nigel's gonna play that eighty point bingo on you a lot and it's just oh that's life, and then you know from there and uh, I gave that advice to a couple people. That's really interesting. This this tournament and uh, well everyone's beating Nigel this tournament because uh, Nigel's tiles this tournament have been a good as about as good as your view of Dave right now. Um, yeah has, well. But that's actually um, <laughs> that's actually good for people out there to see that that even brilliant players who manage to find thirty six point plays out of nothing constantly, yeah. um, when the tiles are really lousy, the tiles are really lousy, and there's yeah. you know that's sort of what it is. Is you know Scrabble kind of imitates life. You know sometimes y- that's part of why a lot of us love the game so much. Sometimes you can prepare and things go well. Sometimes you can prepare, things go terribly. Sometimes you can like mess around and things go awfully, and sometimes you can just mess around and things go your way kind of like how life works and that's part of why I love this game so much because <laughs> I can be lazy so he's making a word that um, has two interesting possibilities to it one it takes an A in front of it so he's setting up a hook that he actually doesn't have yet yeah. but he's allowing for that possibility but he's also setting up a juicy spot for Dave to come back starting from the triple row on the left with a double letter score and that will open up a triple triple for him So, but he doesn't have anything though or is F R E I? No, it's not. Uh, no, uh, he <laughs> would have had quiff or something to be a good if he. Yeah. Uh, right now he doesn't have anything. We'll see what he does. Yeah. Uh, but it's um, Stefan Fatsa, so who I hope you all watched the interview le- yesterday, and you can always catch it online again. Uh, he always talks about risk and reward in Scrabble. Uh, so this is a perfect example of it. Uh, maybe score a ton of points by utilizing that juicy spot over foul, but risk opening up a triple triple. Yeah. And that's the beauty of the game. And I don't know if Alfred Butts really, you know, if he was an evil, you know, or a, a benevolent genius and figured that all out when he put the configuration of the board together, but it allows for that and it makes it so exciting. Yeah. Uh, Swiggy, basically, this lexicon is, yeah, as uh, Scrabble Rich is sta- saying here, it's the Harper Collins Dictionary from England. It looks like uh, Elf and Fusil. Um, 
but I think in the, in this case that's a lot of points could leave. Now you know, keep uh, the lead and run with it. Ralph is good, but he's unfortunately he's got Gallier, which it will not play. Um, you can't have a e foul, an online foul. So these S's have not shown up. There's only one out, and um, whoever gets an S and can bingo off of Mew or Skis is going to be in a good position. Yeah, well, uh, Dave Especially just Skis, because that really blocks the It looks the like uh, Dave's going to be the one to do that. Herdies, Herdies, yeah. Herdies. yeah. Herdies. Well, that's a nice play by Brad. Probably the best play there. He's got the H, but... Um, he doesn't have an O. If he wanted to maybe just score 40 points and go yeah. to Fuji and he had Yeah, it, it would have been. It might have been worth it. It might have been an interesting spot, but uh, Hurdy's uh, pretty, pretty good, good at this point. I mean, yeah. he'll, he'll take a huge lead and the board will be virtually dead. So <laughs> now, there are three other bingos in there. This ought to put uh, Dave's win percentage for the game at, like, I don't know, 90, more than 90%, probably. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so much for tension. We're going to have to uh, pretend that I mean, even gets the H on the triple letter. Yeah, we could, uh, yeah, take a, take a pool of how you pronounce F U C I. <laughs> Fukai. Fukai. I think so. Fukai. It's a plant thing. Fuku? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuku. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, there we go. Do we have any pre-match rituals? So I'm not the most uh, superstitious person, but I have this thing where, <laughs> so you're allowed to sh uh, shake the bag before your opponent draws tiles. And if I wait for like longer than, if my opponent waits for longer than like five seconds to draw their tiles before the game starts, I have to reshake the bag. It's like the only time that I need to feel like I'm in control in life. <laughs> <laughs> the, rest, the rest of life I'm totally good, be it Scrabble or anything else, but I ha have to shake the tile bag. I don't know what it is. How about mine you? is mine is to use the same bathroom stall if I won the game mm -hmm. before because yeah. obviously it's because of the bathroom stall yeah. that I won. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Now I want to actually point out something very interesting to us anyway. Yeah. On uh, the TWL board, we're playing Mac Miller and Ian Weinstein, both people who know a lot of words, and I see a phony relended, and I'm not actually surprised to see that it was played by Mac testing Ian's uh, word yeah. skill and his nerve. So yeah. he got away with a phony. Which, um, if it costs Ian second place, is yeah. not going to be a good situation. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Jilly. And right now, I'll get you a score. It's yeah. it's quite uh, six turns into the game each, yeah. and uh, Mac is up three forty seven yeah. to one ninety one. So that um, that relended is not going to be yeah. good. Yeah, so uh, Stellan. Yes, all slurs are allowed. Um, ultimately, they are combinations of letters. Um, Yes, Herdy's, in fact, means the butt. Yeah, that's the beauty thing. Um, Rich is telling you guys, anything that's in the dictionary is allowed. It's so beautiful to have this dictionary because there's no more arguments. Buy the dictionary. If it's in there, it's good. If it's not, it's not. And you can't, well, I saw that on Aunt Ida's you know, game four years ago, and it must be good. It's, it's I'm, st I'm still going to complain, though. When <laughs> there's, uh, <laughs> what well, did I see? Oh, I had one uh, for anyone who is into the fruit. We were playing a variant of Scrabble the other night. Someone had the word maniacal. Maniacal plus an S is calamansi, which is a fruit. And I was thrilled to find calamansi. Wow, that's impressive. It's not a word. Oh. It's the stupidest thing ever. Calamansi juice, it's like a, you know, lime. Well, Rich will tell you we were playing fun games while we weren't uh, doing the commentary yet. And he tried bullions, which I challenged. And we were playing Collins. And it wasn't good. And then he tried Boolean, thinking I was thinking it was adjectival. And I challenged it anyway. It's just a five-point challenge. And it wasn't good either. <laughs> and then all the mathematicians <laughs> in the room were going, what do you mean? It's not a good word. Because it's uh, like Boolean because it's capitalized. It's named after a dude. Well, so is Xerox. not, But I guess it's never. It's not off copyright. Yeah. That's our rule. That's why you sometimes see Xerox and Kleenex now and stuff yeah. like that. When it goes off copyright, we're allowed to put it into the dictionary. Yeah. That's actually a, a very interesting little tidbit for yeah. everybody out there to know that. Yes, Wicker is a uh, isn't calamansi delicious? What does it look like? What does it taste like? It tastes kind of like lime, but like I think oh. a little sweeter, or maybe just it, the juice has more sugar in it. I don't is know. Is it small? Is it a small fruit? I think so. I've actually never seen it in fruit form. Uh, Stellan, yes, that has happened. 
in the most awkward situations you could think of. Has a player in a tournament ever dropped the N-word? Oh, okay. Yeah, and the J one. Uh, yeah, that, that one shows up even more. <laughs> dreamt about playing against Merlin. To be, I'm going to be real honest with you. Yeah. It's been a fantasy of mine for a long time. Yeah. Um, yes, so it's allowed. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, there's there are a lot of offensive words, and we do have a d different dictionary for tr school and family play uh, yeah. because of that. And, and as we mentioned, uh, the kids are not allowed to use the bad words at the school tournament. So uh, what do they do? They give the kids a list of all the bad words and say, don't use these words. <laughs> So they may not be able to use them in the tournament. But they sure know them all by heart. But my goodness, they know them all by heart. <laughs> so, you know, props to Scrabble for uh, corrupting the youth. <laughs> Just one of my uh, one of my favorite things. I, I mentor a kid in Scrabble, and his, his dad told me that that's, that's what he did. And I was like, that's exactly what he would do. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Boolean word equals false. Take word off the board. Listen for us. Um, I love Katsu too. They're 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 playing pieces. The words are playing pieces. That's all they are. We have to divorce them from meaning. Except except when uh, we're letting kids play Scrabble, apparently. Except when we're playing, <laughs> <laughs> because that's just so not hypocritical yeah. of us. <laughs> yeah. So Bradley right now is gone his second diaper, I believe. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I feel like he's had this rack since the dawn of time. <laughs> no, no salt at all from the commentator from might, the commentators here. Maybe he's getting ornery. Yeah, with our commentator, uh, with his racks. We have commenta commentator salt about the uh, the speed of the speed of play. He doesn't know what to do. For me, I love the R's. It's one of my favorite letters. But you want the real one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rory, R-O-R-Y. That's a word, right? Or is it Rorty? I don't know. Collins. Rory is absolutely yeah. delicious, as is Rorty. They're yeah. both excellent. Delicious words. Here we go. Oh. Here comes the oh. opening of the oh triple triples. Oh, my goodness. This is... You don't have a choice. He he. he, he no, play him. Rory now. He's he can hang out for like one more turn. He's leaving RR or is it? A, yeah, he's leaving RR. That's that will work zero percent of the time. Where would you like him to play Rory? Uh, the bottom left through the O. Just keep. Oh, keep, through the O. Yeah. Just keep the good leave for now and like wait a turn. Like open the board. Yeah, when he had an N and an O to uh, hook onto the Hurdies. Yeah, like wait a turn before you just throw it all up. Will did not drink the beer, but in fairness, he still has three more games, and he's you know hoping to uh, probably set a record. You know he's very excited. Did he drink at all last night? Well, he does. He's not a drinker. He's not, oh, then he shouldn't but, drink. Well, he. I mean, he agreed to me before the last nationals in Fort Wayne, Indiana, that uh, if he won nationals, he would have a beer. But he didn't say when. After he won. After. <laughs> so I brought it up to him on the stream yesterday. He's like, well. That you know, that's kind of my thing. I don't, I don't, I don't really drink. I will, in his defense, point out that after the three games today, still constitutes after he won. Yeah. Oh no, and that's why I said it. when someone asked him at dinner last night, uh, well, "Will are you gonna try the beer?" And he's like, "Well, no, not yet." Um, and I was like, "Yeah, no, that's fine. He can wait till tomorrow." So that's poor it. Dave has to uh, score <laughs> 30 points, untripling his A's <laughs> by blocking the triple act. triple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Will Will can have one beer for every for every national championship he wins. So like by the time he's oh, 70, he'll have had like 60 60 <laughs> most. Oh goodness. He's got he's got uh, Ariest and oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Does he have anywhere to put it? Let's see. Possibly a sheriff. That's never good when you are not sure if it's the sheriff or not. I prefer to know who I'm dealing with. Muffin, are you going to come to the next uh, New Orleans or something? I feel like I haven't seen you in, well, a year, because <laughs> I haven't seen you in a year. What do you mean, possibly a sheriff? What is this namby pamby dictionary we're getting here? Possibly. I, is that is that literally it's how it's possibly a pudding? Yeah, it's possibly, possibly it's, possibly it's possibly a word. <laughs> it's possibly a tablecloth. Yeah, <laughs> possibly a fruit. <laughs> what could it possibly be? Let your imaginations run wild, but keep it PG thirteen. 
<laughs> Uncle Joe were possibly the sheriff. Yeah. That's absolutely true, Typo Mix. Yeah. <laughs> were you speeding? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> I don't know. Let's I don't see what's doing over at the Mac game. I don't, I don't think uh, Arius is going to go anywhere right now. So. Uh, no, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, the is, uh, yeah, I recite. I recite. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, Bradley will have the illusion of having a chance of coming back for another turn. Maybe he mixed up re-blended with re-blended. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I know. think I Mac just didn't. I don't think that was intentional, Tony. As I, I don't know how you don't tell. Okay. Oh, okay. Whatever. I mean, like, Mac will play a phony. Relend is good, that's why. Oh, yeah, Relend is good. But Relend is not. Oh, so yeah. it's a really, really good... The past tense... Oh, well, I don't know if it's Relent, because that's actually also a word. So I mean, it who knows? is... I mean, I don't know what else it would be. <laughs> like, I it's mean... Just that just, have you ever seen Relend ever? Like, yeah, no. Yeah. But I also yeah. haven't studied words in three years. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Whitmarsh will be traversed. Weekend will always prevail, and he will confidently... Take a stein of beer, <laughs> and chug it for all to see. There's Bradley a, has a fabulous. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, just uh, between Dave here and uh, Muffin are two of the most prolific beer drinkers in Scrabble. They've, I believe, have had uh, some competitions before. In fact, to see who could uh, who could chug a beer faster. I like this line. Can Nola be in a closer city next year? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> how about how about San Francisco? <laughs> Wait, that does not help you. Oh, I would love it to be there. Can yeah. we please have a tournament in San Francisco? I, I every December. Every December. Every December. Come like, join oh, us. Let's run all my patients are due. My patient. Ah. Then just tell them, you know, yeah. just wait a couple just days. Wait a couple just wait a couple of days. days. You were sick for four years. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. You can wait another two. We days. have we have TWL as well as Collins now. We had a, a great Collins showing last year. Beer in Scrabble is very very fun. Uh, I won't personally be in HK for a while, but uh, the Hong Kong uh, Scrabble organization is, you know, really kind of taken off there right now. Uh, I'd love to go back to to the city. I have a couple friends, Scrabble friends, who live there who will always put me up. Uh, it's not Christmas-themed Scrabble, but uh, we used to have it during Halloween, and we would have, oh God, costume contests. Oh, it's a pe great pe city. People yeah. would, we people would play in costumes all uh, all tournament. Or maybe it was just on Halloween. I forget. I never really, never really dressed up for yeah, Halloween. Not often, no. At least at the Scrabble tournaments, the closest I got was my ex and I changed to switch clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not true. I cr no, I cross dressed once. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because we were uh, we were reusing a costume from a cross dressing party the week before, <laughs> where my two housemates and I were uh, Charles's angels. <laughs> that was a fun party. <laughs> Do you have pictures? Because I'll, oh yeah, oh I'll yeah. pay to see them. Oh, yeah, they're right on Facebook. <laughs> uh, could, if they're w welcome to throw a picture of me cross-dressing up on the stream. That's totally cool, because it was, it was a great party. We had a wonderful time. <laughs> have you been to Tokyo? I have not. It's like my dream city to go to. Apparently, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's just I've never, I've never made it there yet. I've chickened out of a couple... Uh, Trip not chickened out. I've had a couple trips that I could have gone, but just it just didn't work out. Just didn't quite work out. Um, I'd like to learn the language more before I. Uh, oh, gentler on br on Brad. Before I get if there, I'm reading his upside down and sideways stuff. He's got gentler on his rack, which is really really sucks. <laughs> um, I have a friend who has told me that there is a restaurant in Tokyo that every time he takes somebody there, they never fail to say this is the best meal I've ever had in my wow. life. Wow. So definitely have to get to Tokyo one, well, of, these one of these one of these days so for the sure. question for Dave is does he remember yesterday guys do you remember yesterday's lesson about stem racks satire is the uber stem rack it's the first one you learn when you study yeah. Scrabble and um, he's got two bingos that don't play he doesn't have any eights and there's nothing through the VN or the TY or the AE so the question becomes you know does he um, fish off the eye to keep his stem rack and then the question would kind of be where Yes, regentle, absolutely. In two places and pretty much unblockable, right? Because of unless he plays through the V. Yeah, which I don't really know if he's going to do that. I mean, there's there's some logic to doing it. Well, even if he plays something like Vein to get rid of the eye, that won't block it. Kate Fukawa Connolly just said offline to me, meow. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to Kate. Hi, Kate. We miss you. 
What's the Pokemon greeting? Meow works. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, just meow. Just say meow. <laughs> Kate, we ate all of the food this week. Kenji's liking Earth, which does make a lot of sense, blocking all of the yeah. bingo lanes. Yeah, at this point, you know, he, Dave has so much spread on everyone, there's no reason not to... That's a much more Dave-er play <laughs> to yeah. kind of keep the board open a bit. I would say strategy is almost unnecessary at this point, but his lead is, is just 100. It's not 180. So yeah. Uh, whereas Mac, however, I think, is enjoying a much more leisurely game at this point. Uh, which is, I think, what he wants in this situation, not being a... Uh, not being ahead as safely as, as Dave is. <laughs> yeah, Mac is up 423 to 308. Yeah. And he got down Moralize, Parhelia, Relended, and Uabane. Yeah. And, uh, oh, look, now Dave's wreck has turned into Satires. <laughs> 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 it got better, guys. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it got better. That well, Asteria Asteri is, or whatever. Nothing else. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, it's going to score 58 points. Or Tarsier's bits, too. <laughs> <laughs> we can find words, guys. We know words. And Did you guys know that we know words? Oh, he's got a Gisters. Does that fit? He's Tarsier's. Oh, a Gisters fits, too. Gisters fits, too. That's yeah. the better play. Yeah. We know the words. And, of course, Bradley gets the Q and the V late in the game because it's just that kind of game. That's, uh, yeah, that's just how it is right now. <laughs> what do yeah. you think Brad's reaction is going to be when he puts down a satire's rack? <laughs> OFC. <laughs> <laughs> GG, I lose. <laughs> Come back next time. Fail. <laughs> Salt. Bible thump. So who's okay? Let's let's build some tension here. Now we need to find out the result of um, game two. So Austin is playing Joey, and Austin is one game behind Dave, nineteen nine to Dave's twenty eight. But he's down by nine hundred and thirty one um, points in spread. So he really has to win. He has to. Austin has to win every single game today. I would. I would think. Joey yeah. is two games behind Dave and one game behind Austin, and his spread is about 300 behind Austin's. So this is a very, very important game, actually. Oh, he's going to play Tarsiers. He's going to simultaneously block the triple lane on the left. Yeah. I think that's the reason for that decision. He doesn't need the points. And uh, it's probably not that many different points either. Yeah. Dave is literally made of points. Like, if you if you tried to figure out what Dave was made of, you'd find that he's, <laughs> he's made amazing. of points. Oh, look, he found a blank. Actually, they're both 70 points, so there you go. He's made of points, yes. If you s split him open like a pinata, we would have numbers come out of him. Is this basically what would Yeah, happen? and a little bit of beer. <laughs> Is this where the air horns go off? No, but uh, as we said, when you play in Thailand, you might get stuck uh, listening to the final countdown all day. Uh, during the last round, they always play that song on repeat for like an hour. So in case uh, anyone wants me to sing do -do, do -do -do, for them again, um, <laughs> you're welcome. I have uh, <laughs> angered all of you. <laughs> I like Typo Mix's comment. Can we get an instant replay on the use of all tiles and slow-mo? Yeah. <laughs> Is it, it's not slow enough already. And then Brad going, no. Hopefully one of these days we'll get a game where we're not just going, well, at halfway point, well, that game's over. <laughs> yeah. It really is an exciting game, and there are plenty of games that come down to the last word. Yeah. We promise you they, those exist more often than this. Yeah. Uh, so there have been a number of awesome Scrabble couples throughout the years and some cool Scrabble families. Beyond that, uh, I'll leave the rest to your imagination. There have been divorces. There have also been divorces or five and a half year affairs. relationships <laughs> <laughs> and affairs. You know, it's a it's it's a it's a, a subculture. Big, 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 it's a it, subculture. It truly is a family. 
Like, think about it. I can go, and you can go anywhere in the world. Yeah. And people know who we are. We can go to Africa. We can go to Australia. We can go, well, maybe not Ant Antarctica. We maybe not Antarctica. But, like, w we're known, and you become known, and you just say, you know, where's the Scrabble Club? And now you're part of it, and everybody will make a big fuss over you. Like, yeah. look who's here from Kalamazoo. You but know? even if they don't know, like, you as a person, they just know you're a Scrabble player and visiting. It's just, like, you your, fa gold, your family. Your family. Your family. Your family. That's, that's it. Oh, look at the nice symmetry in Dave's score. Now, Bradley thinks it's more 666 than 444, but... Uh, I feel like anyone think uh, Bradley's missing a 1 from the front of his score? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not going to get that joke. <laughs> yeah. He was a... Uh, he was not lead enough this game. He was about a 1,000 points short. But, uh... All right, so we still love him. So Dave is up by a hundred and the game's over. <laughs> yeah. In terms of I'm adding <laughs> oh oh I'm spread adding yeah yeah spread, you're doing so the real math. He's adding another hundred and seven points to his already prolific spread, which currently puts him a thousand points ahead of his closest competition. Over at the other board, before we sign off, I'll just give you an update. Uh, b b quickly before you do that, uh, sure, Carmel Dodd, super fan, uh, look up the ASPA, Australian Scrabble Players Association. Uh, they've got a lot of good stuff in Sydney. We have a couple uh, people from there here at this tournament, but definitely look up the ASPA uh, and you'll find out about Scrabble in Australia. And you'll be seeing us again uh, in just a few minutes after this game, but Robin's just going to... It's just not loading. I'm trying, uh, to, I'm trying to get well, it to... Well, Mac won. <laughs> I'm going to assume that Mac yeah. won. He's over. Oh, he's look. He's but Ian's cut it down to 90 points. Yeah, but, but, it's but it's there he has no bingo. And he's got no yeah. bingo. Okay, yeah. Uh, this right. was game one, and you'll be back for uh, game two in 